Hi, Lana. Um, Mom, I started writing this for you before your birthday, but um, I didn't finish yet, but I'm getting close. I want to thank you and Dad for giving me and Mom a memory trip to Kentucky. I may not spell everything right in this book. This is the book you, you got me at the, at the creation, and I'm filling it out and putting it back to you for keeping. Our journey started July 21st. Our first night was in Little Rock. Um, July 22nd, we went to Bill Street, then Memphis, Tennessee. That was one of our first stops. Jerry Lee Lewis, that, that was our place, the burning piano. It was early in the day and they weren't serving food yet. So we um, uh, talked to a guy that was there and we asked him if the piano was set on fire still. And he told us no. Uh, that was disappointing, but it sure was fun. Everything else still looked the same. And such nice memories remembered from our visit years ago. <clears throat> Mom, you'll love this voodoo woman, Lil Elvis, fanny pack man. Man, <clears throat> we had some good times. Stayed there the whole night for $30 and everybody followed us. <laughs> That was a long ago when I used to go to conferences and stuff. Uh, we could, we just, we was lucky we was doing this one. But then we went to Elvis's favorite hangout, Club Handy, Nat, <clears throat> King Cole, Lil Richard, B.B. King, and Elvis performed. You sat in the chair just where Elvis would have sat across the street was where we ate lunch at Suki O'Sullivan's I had ribs and you had barbecue sauce with me ha ha and I want you to know dad what <clears throat> mom said is as soon as she got she goes this is not James Cook's brisket yeah she was like that she didn't eat it. <coughs> I know it was so hot there, but we did it. We were dripping in sweat by the time we found our car. We only went one block. <laughs> or two, maybe two. We spoke to two singers that invited us to their show. They offered me a huge puff on their doobie. I turned it down, of course. We passed. The other guy had a grill on his teeth and all that stuff. But they warned us about those guys who worship uh, a different God at the end of the street. We weren't sure what that meant, but we got a strange feeling when we walked past them. We made, <clears throat> made it back to our car and went on to Loretta Lynn's. This was <clears throat> the favorite part of my trip, our trip. You walk down a hill, mom, you walk down a hill and you sat in a swing. I took my shoes off and put my feet in the grass, closed my eyes. I heard the water from the river, God's earth tickling my feet, birds singing, <clears throat> air flowing my hair, tree leaves blowing and the comfort of you was there with me in this sweetest moment of time. We were in now. No worry of time or anything around us. We drove around and we took a few more pictures and then we stopped at this crazy gas station slash firework stand. We thought of grandma, cause grandma I always wanted that darn gorilla from Missouri. <laughs> we also saw an Indian statue and, and a pink elephant. This place was a, oh, I already said that. 
We ate dinner at the Colorado Grill. We really loved it. They had a lot of stuffed animals. And the eagle was one of my favorite things there. They had stuffed. Sunday, July 23rd. Actually, I already messed up. The fire, I already messed up on that one. It don't matter. Uh, we Once we were in Kentucky, we looked at house, amazing houses, castles, old huge mansions, fences, horses. <coughs> and we went to the Kentucky Horse Park, whatever the, they did there. We rested and slept all day on that Monday, July 24th to get ready to see the ark the next morning. Our first experience of, <coughs> well, I just say, just like with everything, the synchronicities, the people we see over and over and you know, that kind of thing was going on. We had our breakfast. Um, July 25th is the, 2023 was whenever we went to the ark. And then, you know me, I have to do my numbers. That's a 777. So, yes, 777 was our ark day on July 25th. We got up early. We ate our breakfast. We drove over there, got our tickets, all that good stuff. We couldn't believe as we was driving in that thing to the park, to the ark, how big it was. It, the ark is huge. You open, you were like, you know, opening your mouth. It was so big. Um, we got to Noah's prayer. It was, I better put my glass, powerful to be there in the ark and reading the prayers. Yes, I cried a little. I was so amazed at things Noah made that was so technical. God gave him the information and Noah built it. Bins for seed, jugs of water, amazing plumbing. How it was... Goes on forever. Um... God talks to us, just uh, pay attention. You'll see that through the synchronicities and stuff. <coughs> we were so tired and we went back to the hotel and crashed. Well, as you say, I never finished, but best I remember, the ne we rested again because we were so tired. And then um, we went to Loretta Lynn. Well, no, that's... That's when we went to, did I talk about the Legends thing yet? We went to uh, Nashville, Tennessee down uh, memory, no, music lane, music hall lane or something. It's really, anyway, we went into Legends and we sang a little bit and then we went to a few more. And the last place we was there there was a song, uh, Neon Moon. I captured the last of it playing, but that's a beautiful song. You know, I was kind of looking at it sometimes as me when I lose myself, you know. Spending almost every night looking beyond the neon moon, you know, because... I, I, I represented the she he was talking about is the half of me that I'm losing. But anyway, that's another thing. Um, we uh, went to the Loretta Lynn's Museum and mom got to see the house. And our favorite was the mansion because it looked just like normal people's. You know, she had her own canister. She had plates above the thing and just like normal people. <coughs> so, and all that was the wonderful. Mom, mom loved it. She made it all the way through it. And then we drove 
straight home, all the way home, and it was great. So thank you again. I love you, and don't forget that song, Neon Moon, and think of me when you hear it. <laughs> love you. Bye.